Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumni. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is gram staining technique. So let's start with it. Let's start with short introduction. Now gram staining. Gram staining is a universal staining technique. It is used for classification and identification of microorganism, especially bacteria. Now this gram staining technique was discovered by Hans Christian Gram in 1884. And later on many scientists tried to modify this technique. But Hucker and Kohn's modification is the best one. Now this gram staining technique is used to stain bacterial cells. And bacterial cells are of two types gram positive and gram negative and this classification of bacteria dep depends upon the property of a cell to retain or lose the primary stain after treatment of the decolorizing agent. So let's see gram staining in detail. Now let's see what are the requirements. The first one is a clean grease free slide, bacterial cell suspension, nichrome wire loop, Primary stain that is crystal violet, mordant that is Gram's iodine, decolorizing agent that is 95% alcohol. Here we use 95% ethanol, and the last one is counter stain that is basic fuchsine or safranin. Now let's see Gram staining procedure. First of all, take a clean grease free slide. Now take a slide, wash it properly with detergent, air dry it and pass it 2 to 3 times through Bunsen burner flame and you will get a clean grease free slide. Now make a smear using nichrome wire loop. Here we use nichrome wire loop because nichrome is a metal that heats up fast as well as it cool down fast so it will save our time in sterilization. So here we use a nichrome wire loop to make a smear. After that air dry and heat fix. After heat fixation, first of all, we are flooding it with our first stain that is crystal violet for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, wash the slide with water. Then apply grams iodine for 2 minutes. Further, after 2 minutes, treat the, treat the slide with decolorizing agent that is 95% ethanol. Then wash the slide with water and further flood the smear with a counter stain that is basic fuchsine or safranin. After 2 minutes, water wash the slide and observe under oil immersion. This was the procedure of gram staining. Now let's see observation. The first observation will be Cell stain with crystal violet appear violet color and are gram positive cells. So if we observe violet color cells, then that cells are gram positive cells. And second one is cell stain with counter stain that is basic fuchsine or safranin appear pink in color and are gram negative cells. So if you observe pink color cells, then that cells are gram negative cells. Now let's see functions of agents used in gram staining. The first one is crystal violet. It is a primary stain and a basic dye. It stains all microorganisms. Second one is gram iodine. Gram iodine act as a mordant. Now mordant is a chemical stuff substance that increases the affinity of a cell and stain. So gram iodine act as a mordant and it forms a complex with crystal violet. Now that complex is CVI complex. This complex increases the affinity between cell and stain. Now third one is 95% alcohol. That is here we use ethanol, 95% ethanol. It is a decolorizing agent as well as a lipid solvent. It tries to decolorize the cell by removing the CVI complex from the cell. And the fourth one is basic fuchsine or safranin. It acts as a counter stain. It stains the cell that are decolorized by alcohol. Only gram negative bacteria 
gets decolorized and this counter stain gives pink color to this cells. Now let's see the most important part that is mechanism of gram staining. Here we use four types of chemicals or stains in gram staining. The first one is crystal violet, second is grams iodine, third is 95% ethanol and basic fuchsin. Now first of all we stain cells with crystal violet and the cells get violet color. Further these cells are treated with grams iodine and this grams iodine is a mordant. It increases the affinity of cell and stain by forming CVI complex. Now this CVI complex is present in cells. Now we treat the cells with 95% ethanol and this ethanol is a decolorizing agent and here cells are of two types gram positive cell and gram negative cells. Now in case of CVI complex in gram positive cell CVI complex do not come out of cell. Now there are several reasons and the reasons are in gram positive cell the lipid content is 1 to 4 percent due to ethanol lipids get dehydrated and the pore size decreases due to which CVI complex cannot come out. The second reason is the peptidoglycan content is 40 to 90 percent in gram positive cell. So there is a dense cross linkage of peptidoglycan due to which CVI complex cannot come outside the cell. And the third one is gram positive cell contains magnesium ribonucleates and it forms a covalent bond with CVI complex and thus the CVI complex does not come out of the cell and the cell gets violet color and so hence the gram positive cell appears violet in color. Now whereas gram negative cell in this gram negative cell CVI complex comes out easily. Now there are several reasons that why in gram negative cell CVI complex comes out. The lipid content of gram negative cell is 11 to 20 percent. Now this lipid content dissolves in ethanol and CVI complex comes out easily. Now the second reason is uh, peptidoglycan content in gram negative is less that is it is 5 to 10 percent due to which there is a thin layer of peptidoglycan cross linkage. So a CVI complex comes out easily and the third reason is gram negative cell lacks magnesium ribonucleate. So CVI complex comes out easily thus cells takes the counter stain that is basic fuchsin and gram negative cells appear pink in color. So here gram positive cells appear violet in color and gram negative cells appear pink in color. I hope you understood this gram staining mechanism. Now let's see applications. Gram staining is a basic technique used for identification and classification of cells. It is useful technique in diagnosis of causative agent for a clinical infection. Third, it is also helpful in studying morphological characters of cell. See some examples of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria are Bacillus, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus and Micrococcus whereas gram negative bacteria are Pseudomonas, E. coli, Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus and Xanthomonas. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.